Yo, what's going on everybody? Thank you for tuning in and thank you for watching. I'm coming at y'all with a brand new review video on these Air Jordan Future Lows in the cool gray colorway. So let's get right to it. Now before we get started, I want to give a huge shout out to the family over at Champ Sports for sending this pair over for me to review on my channel. Big ups to you guys, I really appreciate it. And I know I've been slacking on sneaker reviews on my channel, so I'm definitely going to do more if you guys like it. So if you do, please hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below. But anyways, let's get to the shoes. Starting this review off, we're gonna start with the infamous icy soles. The things that people love and hate at the same time. People are always like, it's way too icy, it's way too blue. And then when it gets yellow, it's way too yellow, I don't like it anymore. Y'all can't be satisfied, ever. But I feel like this one, they did it right, okay? They put a little arctic blue hit right here and it's not like a freaking crazy blue. It's a very light hint of blue. So I think they did it right on this outsole right here. You can barely even tell on this camera, right? It looks almost clear on this camera. But anyways, we have the herringbone traction on the top part of the shoe and the bottom part right here, or the front and the rear in that black color. For the people that aren't familiar with this Jordan model already, the Futures use a Jordan 11 midsole and outsole, and they have a nice woven upper on this one. And I think it's a really nice hit for Jordan because it looks like they're trying to hit you off on the outsole and midsole because of that iconic Jordan 11 look. And they're trying to step into the comfort game a little bit more because this woven upper does have a lot of breathability and it also has a lot of comfort as far as the fit goes. So I definitely do like the cool gray woven upper and I'm not sure if I would buy the specific colorway of this model, but since it was a gift, I would rock these. And just a quick disclaimer, I will have the pant information in the description down below as well as the music info because a lot of people just ask me constantly music info pant info that will all be in the description box just hit the show more button fam without getting sidetracked too much we have a nice little carbon fiber hit right here a lot of people do that little scratch test and that hit test uh-huh mm -hmm. you're one of these people huh you like that and then on the tongue, we have a nice black suede, it looks like. Suede or nubuck, and it looks like these are wax laces. They also have little silver lace tips at the end, just to give these a nice little touch. Those silver lace tips or aglets really hit it off for me. And then you have that cool gray tag on the tongue with the black Jordan Jumpman. This shoe isn't too crazy, it's very simple, but I really do like this Jordan Future model. I prefer the highs, but the lows, they're all right too. And in case you're wondering about the fit, these fit true to size and they are going to run you about $145 before tax. But just knowing that these sit around, they might go on sale and usually they do go on sale. So if you do want a pair, I would wait for holiday time or just a time that they usually have sales, Black Friday, Labor Day, whatever it is, you could probably get these on sale. But like I said, I just wanted to get this quick review out. Nothing too crazy and nothing too special. It's just a very simple and clean looking shoe. I hope you enjoy the on feet portion. It's Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. I said lace them up, lace them up, lace them up, lace them up Turn Nikes on my feet in the Freddy vs. Jason A murdering on cinema displays days by days That someone saved and engraved in their brain They're partly trained to rave They're mentally trained when they came To writing these movies and releasing all of their pain Calling movies in my head You should be glad that I do it too Cause most storytellers are dead So I'ma prove it if I gotta spar with Rocky But the last guy I spar with had me screaming Who could stop me? And honestly, it's not cocky, it's honesty Mixed with property I've acquired through killing modesty A modest man usually get it first And I'm quick to burst and serve a bitch who's full of thirst They tell me bitch and faggot shouldn't be said But I'ma scream every word I want until they announce me dead I see a twisted cop and ask him how we figure He can stop how I talk even if I'm yelling up uh, I can say some words and leave you mad But another Eminem and y'all can never deal with that I got Nikes on my feet Keep my sight for complete like See, I'm the type of dude with issues to pretend your shit's you know jujitsu. Call